special guest tonight, Miss Jody Lent. So excited to have you. Thank you, you. You are such an artist, and it's such an honor to have you on our show. We love women that are in, empower other women and lift those other women up, and you are one of those, those women that touch lives, and I'm so excited to have you. Uh, with what you do for the community and you just recently won an award tell I us about did. that i did i did so i am currently uh the year 2022 a an art pop street gallery artist my work is all over the place in the charlotte region um, there's like 13 counties that are included it's on billboards it's on digital billboards uh, static billboards and i'm I, I'm privileged to be part of this program. It's really designed to bring art to all mm -hmm. through ways of um, an art gallery that's everywhere. How amazing and what an honor to be on a billboard, multiple billboards. You're one right here in, in Charlotte, very yep. close to you. So if yep. you're driving home tonight, you'll you'll see it. Just Brickshire Boulevard. Brickshire Boulevard. <laughs> um, but I'm sure that's an honor that not many people, you said how many people are? 20, 20 per year. Per year. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, so that says a, a volumes about you. But it's not only about your artistic flair, and you do so many different forms of art. You do pottery, you do uh, like silhouettes on mm -hmm. pots and clay, and you do, do. wedding platters, um, you do ceramics, mm -hmm. right? I what do. is your favorite medium, and, what, and how did you get involved? So, I, my favorite is working with clay. So I roll out clay and I journal on it. Mm -hmm. I usually carve people I've met and I'm going to put you on one of my pieces. I'm so honored. <laughs> well, heart's been a It is fun. It, for me, it's just a way for me to connect to the people that have um, come, come into my life. Right. And um, it's, uh, it's been a fun, fun journey. I started at Central Piedmont, which is the community college here in the area. Right. And I started because I needed an, a, a way to get out of the house with small children at home. Right. I kind of needed an escape. Mm -hmm. And it grabbed me, took hold, and I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. So nothing and, previous to that? So you were like, a, not much. No? That's, no not that much. I mean, sixth story. grade. Right. You know, pinch yeah. pot. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I remember yeah. those. Yeah. Yes. No, my degree is something totally different. Mm -hmm. I worked in a field where I actually worked for Lockheed Martin for eight years right. in the space industry, so mm -hmm. totally not related to art, uh -huh. and then came here to Charlotte and started my art journey in about 2000, year 2000. And this was your dream, like something that just fell in your lap, really, basically, and I think yeah. all roads lead to, the, lead to the path that you're supposed to be on, Absolutely. and so how amazing that you're on this journey and that you're truly gifted at it. Like... If this hadn't happened, art would have yeah. never found you. Yeah, who knew? I started at Central Piedmont just to maybe get some experience, get out of the house, and then it took hold, and I, turns out I'm pretty good at it. Pretty good. You, hey, girl, you have a billboard. I know, like, I plus. know. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. I have amazing. a billboard. Yes. Well, our media director discovered you because she purchased a couple pieces of your art. Yes. And I love your story, too. You're not making art for the masses. You no. don't. You're, you make a few unique pieces. You said there are 12 pieces featured. Um, what, what? Yeah, on the Maroncas Central Marancus. Piedmont mm -hmm. campus. Right. All of your 2023. Can't will, sell them because uh, they're I featured, know. right? They're featured, oh. yep. They're going to be there for the students to enjoy. And, and it's going to be neat because they're going to be able to look on those pieces and find people that look like them. Right. I try to be all-inclusive. I try mm -hmm. to create people that I've seen, people that, that can relate to other people that see them. So they're going to find themselves on those pots, and that's exciting to me. That's very exciting. We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to show some of your art that's featured right now. Jody, what amazing inspirational pieces. I love the tile and I love the expression that you have holding your piece of tile. Thank so you. you have so like I said, you're you have so many different talents. Thank you. I do love my work. I love what I'm doing and I love the people I come into contact with. I met you through my work, um, through someone that saw my work and bought a piece. So right. 
and that we're connected to you. You know, we're all connected, right? I love that story, Jody, because we are in yes. so many different areas of life. You know, this is a this is a decade that you're going through, and art will follow you the rest of your life. But imagine through your art how many people you can touch and how you may change their lives and maybe even allow them to pursue their dream. I, I do. I talk about mm-hmm. I talk about ceramics often, actually, because <laughs> I love it. And right. I love touching it. I love the form. I love what it does. It's very therapeutic to disappear mm-hmm. in an art form. And I, I just, I can't get enough of it. And I, th- and I think that it does show when I talk to people about my work. Um, how I journal in my pots, right. um, and it's 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 been a great experience for me. And to win this Art Pop Street Gallery Award, and to be part of this program, that program is fantastic, mm-hmm. and it really does bring art to the community. There's art all over Charlotte right. because of Art Pop Street. So, and I noticed too that, like you, you mentioned before we started this interview, just in our chit chat, about how many murals are popping up. I noticed there were so many during COVID, yes. during COVID, yes. which was very shocking to me. Yes. But it, our town is now taking off with the murals, and it wasn't it a town that really embraced art. I don't believe pre- previously. I don't think so either. I think it mm-hmm. really has come along. In fact, during COVID, I didn't mention to you this. Tell time. me. <laughs> I, I actually put a giant mural on the back of my house. My daughter and I, we were in for the supposed two weeks of quarantine, right? Right. So we started it and we have a mural of, of our friends and family on the back of our house still there. And it's it's awesome to look at. It's about 40 feet long. I love it. So it's on the back of your house. I love that people can't drive by and see it. Yes. That would be amazing. Well, it was just for us. Right. It was a way for us mm-hmm. to stay connected to our friends and family during that time. Right. And art does that. It does. Like when you said you journal and you journal on your pieces, art does connect you. It's like music is a form of art. Yes. And you, know, you can be in the worst mood or whatever's going on in your life. A certain song can make you happy or yes. a certain song can make you sad and remember same thing with what you do you Mm -hmm. know when you journal on your pieces you know it's it's a trademark of yours yeah it is it is it is becoming my signature style Mm -hmm. kind of the folk art um, style with the bright colors and the people and it's 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 definitely my signature style well you have such a story of like how you know you were trying to find yourself and you were taking this class at central piedmont and how it just rolled out into a career and you do explode with happiness when you talk about it what are a few words that you can give our viewers out there that are maybe trying to find themselves that kind of just Maybe in a career they don't love, or maybe just in a moment where you said staying home with your children and doing career change, and you wanted something for yourself. I did. What advice would you give them I to did. try to find that passion? Well, I would say try a few different things. You know, there's lots of opportunities. Central Piedmont's a great way to find some classes mm-hmm. to take, right. but just try different things. See what, what maybe kind of grabs you. Right. But I don't think unless you try a few things, you might hone in on it right away. Right. Don't give up. Don't keep trying Mm -hmm. um and then just ask other people again connect connect Connect. don't don't sit there by yourself right find somebody life is about networking I i firmly believe it's like a domino effect truly is about networking and you know finding your passion but also finding friends that help can help you find your passion along the way or acquaintances because we're all this inner circle that's connected Mm -hmm. with Mm -hmm. life absolutely you have made our show tonight so amazing because you are one of those people and i thank you so much i'm so honored to have you we're connected we're connected i love it miss jody (laughs) so find your inner peace find your passion just like jody did she was a struggle and finding you know something that gave her happiness and she found a dream that she excels at you can do the same just follow your dream and never give up